My name is Michelle, and I will be reading The Golden Acorn Tree by Jocelyn Argetha and illustrated by Paley Huang, published by Room to Read. On a crisp autumn morning, a little squirrel woke up with a nice big stretch. Ah, what a beautiful day to start collecting acorns for the winter, she said. The little squirrel took her favorite path in the forest. She scurried through the trees, turning left and right until she reached the golden acorn tree with leaves as bright as the sun and a trunk as tall as the mountain. The golden acorn tree had acorns sprinkled on every branch and the little squirrel gathered as many as she could. On her way home, she shared the acorns with her neighbors. One for the friendly bunny to add to her cupboard. One for the curious owl to inspect with wonder. One for the quiet skunk who was peeking out of his window. Why do you always give the skunk an acorn? when he rarely comes outside, asked the owl. The little squirrel replied, the forest is home to all of us, so we should all take care of each other. Then she hurried home to roast an acorn for dinner. The next day, the little squirrel picked more acorns to deliver to her friends. One, for the mama bear to share with her cub. One for the active raccoon to kick all day. One for the quiet skunk who was peeking out of his window. Why do you always give the skunk an acorn when he rarely talks to us? Asked the raccoon. The little squirrel replied, the forest is home to all of us, so we should all take care of each other. Then she went back to her tree house and added more acorns to her growing collection. One morning, as a little squirrel approached her favorite golden tree, she heard a powerful crash and felt the ground shake. She ran as fast as she could to see what was happening. She watched the golden acorn tree disappear into the distance. Why are you taking my special tree and all of our acorns? The little squirrel cried. She walked back to her tree house with her head hung low. All of the neighbors were worried about the sad little squirrel. When she passed the skunk's home, she was surprised by a soft whisper. Hi, little squirrel. Why are you so sad? The little squirrel sighed. Someone took the golden tree and now I don't have any acorns to save for the winter or to share with everyone. The skunk said, follow me, I want to show you something. He led the little squirrel down a secret path. They squeezed through the bushes, they scurried through the trees, turning left and right, until they reached a garden full of golden trees. Some were short, some were tall with acorns hanging from every branch. The little squirrel couldn't believe her eyes. Where did all of these trees come from? The skunk smiled. Every year, I plant some of the acorns that you so kindly shared with me. The skunk picked up an acorn and gave it to the little squirrel. The forest is home to all of us, so we should all take care of each other. 
they gathered as many acorns as they could carry to share with all of their neighbors. The community thanked the skunk for his generosity. As the seasons went on and the new acorn trees grew, so did all of their friendships. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story and remember to keep reading.